Hello, welcome to Counseling Techniques mini episode three. In this um, little episode lecture thing, I'm going to talk about questions versus paraphrases and kind of my take and opinion on those. So, um, if you're you know if you're reading the text, which you should be. <laughs> Uh, you'll know that um, there's a difference between open-ended questions versus closed-ended questions. Both of them have a purpose um, and a reason that we ask each of those. Ideally, you're going to be using more open-ended questions than closed. Um, we tend to use closed questions only when we're trying to get specific information, right? Um, however, I would recommend that you don't use questions um, as your go-to. And so what seems to happen, especially in um, beginning counselors, is that um, you depend on questions um, to help get you through the session. And that's not what I want you to do at all, actually. Um, I would like for you to try and limit your use of questions and depend on paraphrases instead. So um, if you'll remember, a paraphrase is simply restating um, what your client has said in a very short sentence, just one sentence. Okay, which is different from a summary because a summary is going to be a longer restatement of what your client said, sometimes using your client's own words um, directly and sometimes kind of filling in with your words. Okay, so, so just to recap, paraphrases and summaries are similar, uh, but a paraphrase is very short, just one sentence whereas a summary is longer. I think of it as like a paragraph versus a sentence, okay? They also do two different things. So a paraphrase is gonna keep your focus on your client, and so it's gonna keep them talking. Um, that's um, really the purpose of a paraphrase is just to indicate that you're listening. Yes, I'm listening to you, you just said this, uh, and I want you to keep talking about that, okay? It also allows you to focus. So if you have a client who's kind of lost their way or who's um, talking about a lot of different things at once, you can use a paraphrase to help them focus in on the one thing that you want them to keep talking about, okay? But a paraphrase, um, the reason why I want you to use it as your go-to is because it's so much easier to do than a question. When you're trying to come up with a question, you're putting a lot of thought into it. What should I say? What can I get them to talk about? I don't know. Um, I don't know what uh, is what the right question is to keep that person talking. Um, don't do that to yourself. It's just too much work and it's too stressful. Instead, just use a paraphrase. If they said something, all you need to do is pick up on the last thing they've said, or, or like I mentioned, you might use a paraphrase to help them focus in. Um, you may say something like, tell me more about that. Um, that's um, you know, not really a paraphrase, it's more of a question, uh, but it's an easy one and it's doing the same thing, okay? So your intention is to keep the person talking, not to put pressure on you to come up with a question that's gonna help them open up, okay? You don't need to do that to yourself. Don't put that pressure on you, put it back on them and say, yeah, I'm listening, keep going, okay? Um, paraphrases can seem um, kind of goofy and, and strange because you're just repeating what your client said, but um, it actually works a whole lot better than you would think. So I just encourage you to try it. Try it with someone that you're um, close to in a conversation without telling them that you are and see how it works. See if it keeps them going. Um, the summary, what a summary does again is, is um, very different than a paraphrase. So a summary isn't going to keep the conversation going, okay? So you might use a summary at, at different times in a session. Um, you can use it at the start of a session to um, recap what you've talked about before um, and kind of give your client a start, starting point. You can use it at the end of a session uh, to wrap things up and, and um, tie things up nicely with a bow. You can use it in the middle of a session to transition from, hey, we were talking about this, you said this, 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 and this, and now I want to talk about something else. Um, but a summary um, puts the control in your hands to help direct the session more so than a paraphrase does, okay? So a paraphrase, at times you're going to use it to help focus, um, but it's really um, only, it's, it's not that much different than a, an encourager uh, in that it's just kind of indicating that you're listening and you want your client to keep talking, okay? These are all good places um, 
these are all good uh, basic skills and they're you know if you look at that like that triangle that Ivy has of the micro skills um, these are all at the base of them okay so these questions paraphrases encouragers and whatnot that means that you should be using them most of all um, however again I encourage you haha <laughs> you like that play on words um, I encourage you to use your paraphrases as your go-to skill and not your questions okay and I encourage you to practice your paraphrases in everyday conversation because um, again just to just to tell you this one more time in case you didn't hear me two seconds ago um, again using a paraphrase puts the focus on your client keeps the focus on your client and not on you to come up with a question it's easier it's simple and it doesn't require a whole lot of, of brain work and what it does is it allows you time to process what your clients saying um, and um, to help them continue talking while you're listening okay versus a question which um, forces you to get up in your head and um, and stop listening okay so a lot of times when we're trying to formulate a question we've stopped listening to our client and we're worrying more about what we're going to say if you use a paraphrase you don't have to think about it as much because you're simply repeating back what your client said and so you don't have to take that um, time away from your client and and get in your head and do some thinking you can just um, parrot back what they've said um, and allow them to keep talking okay